Hi, I'm Ruben Papian. Today I'm starting my Ruben Papian TV. Uh, this is the first show, introduction. What the show will be about, actually, and other shows as well. Uh, they will be about the most important thing that a human can ask himself. The most important, highest values of life, death, understanding, thinking, existing, magic, etc. etc. Uh, from the beginning of human existence, every day, every one of us is asking the same question. Why do I exist? Is there any meaning? If there is a meaning, why I don't know that meaning? And some of us spending all their lives, like me, trying to figure out and find out the secret that is hidden from us. Sounds quite strange. I do exist, there is a reason, but I'm the first one who should not be acquainted with that reason of my own existence. Is there any reason why it's hidden? Or maybe I possess something I should not face it until I'm ready. And when is the time that I'm ready? So the questions can be asked day and night. So one of those who spend all their lives trying to understand and figure out. It was not easy. I'm not saying that I know all the questions, but some of them I figured out, at least for myself. And based on the answers and understanding, I build up a couple of energy machines. Later, probably in my shows, I'll be explaining what that is. I build up techniques energy healing techniques and certain other techniques how to train yourself to perform better to think better and to use your own precious possession called consciousness better all our understanding is just a matter of our conscious performance whatever you know that's the limitation of your consciousness and we try to step beyond it, beyond our consciousness. But based on our consciousness, it's impossible. So I will be teaching you as well how to make myself clever. And I'm not clever, I don't understand that I'm clever than my neighbor. I'm clever than yesterday. And I'm definitely still not as much clever as I'm going to be tomorrow. Let's start from point of appearance of human race. There are a lot of theories. Which one is right, which one is wrong? Today, every one of us actually picking for ourselves the one that suits my conscience better. But still, every one of us would like to know the truth, the true existence of human race. Why we are so different, and we are different. If you compare European race with Asian race, I mean, you see that difference is so big that you can doubt whether are two of those species coming from the same cell. And there are a number of races, plus blood. One of the biggest secret, blood hides whole data, and there are a couple of blood types known today. We don't know what's going to look tomorrow. But how it's possible if we are all coming from one Eve and Adam, we're supposed to have the same blood type. But not. We have different blood types. Does it mean that we are coming from different Adams and Eves? We don't know yet. Probably in my next shows, I will tell you not the facts, but thoughts that will help you to come to figure out your own understanding of that. The reason why I decided to come up with the show. For 30 years, I was dedicating my life, figuring out the answers, first of all, for myself. This show that I'm making right now is not a TV show. It's an honest talk. Let's put it this way. I will reveal my secrets, and they are secrets. Time has come for 
human evolution to mutate, to upgrade, to change itself. It doesn't mean it was bad, now it's going to be great. Absolutely not. It was exactly just the way it should be. So there is nothing bad in the past. And it doesn't mean that the future will be great. It's going to be exactly as it should be. That's called the evolution. Whether we like it or not, we have to leave that process through. Quite a painful process. So, you can reduce your pain, whatever pain is, by understanding of necessity based on understanding who am I? Why am I like this? And maybe whatever is happening, it's really good. Otherwise, today, a number of people are suffering in all senses. I'm not talking about hunger. I'm talking about a conscious suffering. Because the values of yesterday are not working today. And tomorrow's values are not known. So, you just don't know how to perform. Whatever was good yesterday probably will be bad tomorrow. And the concept of religion is changing. Today, one little child, seven years old, in front of the computer, communicating with the entire world. And it looks like God, at least kind of it. So, there are a number of human performing and doing God's work. So, it's a big opportunity to meet the world. Early days, in order to meet people, you had to go out, you go to a club, and you have to talk, and you see a certain amount of people. And today, thanks to technological opportunities, you can communicate with the entire world. You can talk to people you never knew, you will never know. But we're talking about millions. Are we ready to talk? And what are we going to talk about? Are we ready to face such an opportunity? Actually not. But evolution will do what it needs to do. Today we are talking on the internet, same uh, talks that we have in pubs and clubs. But tomorrow it's a knowledge exchange. It's experience exchange. Even manipulation. So, as deeper we know ourselves, as stronger we are, as ready we are to communicate with the world. Everyone is waiting for an alien to appear. But just a minute. Is there anything that alien is interested to hear from you? Anything. Try to imagine you and a rabbit. Is there anything you can talk to a rabbit? Of course not. Not because it is a rabbit. Just because rabbit lives rabbit's life with rabbit's values. And you are living your life. So only thing you're going to do, watch and try to understand. But there is nothing to exchange. So maybe it's the same story with us as a human and aliens. So probably later on, after maybe 2,000, 5,000 years, when human race will be entering the galaxy and the galaxy federation, then they will be capable to communicate with someone else, then they will become an aliens for some races on X planet. Uh, trust me, we will not be communicating with them, because there is nothing they can tell us, but will be follow their behavior, helping, waiting for evolution to raise the level of consciousness at a time when that race can understand the values of existence. Do we today, human creatures, understanding the value of existence? I doubt that we do. What kind of values we have? Big house, big car. Okay, maybe not. And you call that life? I don't think so. I hope this is my first introduction. Will attract you enough to follow my next shows, short ones. Each show will be dedicated to a certain subject. Faith, death, emotions, doubts, fears. I will be happy if you will 
comment and ask the questions that will help me to understand what are your questions. And then I will talk about that. Decision is yours, whether you will be finding my talks useful or not. But still, even my vision is not useful for you. You made a great step. You know what you don't need. But for some ones, maybe it will be quite useful. So, this is it for today. Thank you very much.